My name is Father Damien Cook, and uh, I'm not the devil spawn. I was not named after Satan or the Antichrist or the Exorcist, but after Blessed Father Damien of Molokai, the great leper priest, who's going to be or, uh, canonized, actually, a saint this coming October. But um, I was born in Kentucky, so I'm actually a southerner, but I've given up my accent because we moved to Ohio very quickly after a few months. I'm the youngest of four kids. I was born to William and Helen Cook, and... Uh, for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to be a priest. I have no idea where the vocation came from, where that seed came from. I had a good Catholic family, but uh, we certainly weren't like overly Catholic in the sense of doing every kind of devotion under the sun. We didn't have priests over to the house for dinner. In fact, uh, when I lived in Beaver Creek outside of Dayton, Ohio, we used to drive quite a ways into a downtown parish because of its fidelity to the church and everything. And uh, we had no relatives who were priests, but I can, I can honestly say from the age of like four or five, I've just always wanted to be a priest. And uh, in fact, in my kid's imagination, I had it all worked out what I was going to do. Somehow I had this plan in my heart, I was going to run an orphanage. That was going to be my job as a priest. And I was going to have my mom come and bake pies for all the kids on the weekend. So I don't know how she felt about that. But um, that idea gave me great comfort. And my family, while certainly encouraging me, never once, never once said, you should be a priest. Um, I just kept telling them I wanted to be a priest. And in grade schools, when you'd have vocations days or career days, I was the only guy in the whole class that said I wanted to be a priest. And it got a little unnerving after a while because I felt sort of odd or freakish. I was like, I'm the only guy who wants to be a priest. Um, but the idea gave me great comfort. And it wasn't until I got older, the only question for me really, after investigating law and um, acting and just all kinds of different things, thinking about what else could I do and dating, that I just thought, I really want to be a priest, but I didn't know what kind of priest to be. And most of the priests that I had known uh, came from my parish, but then I went to a religious high school, and so I got to know some religious consecrated priests and thought, oh, okay, they're the bomb, right? These are like missionaries, like, like they're the Pope's army, and they go out and they just evangelize, and they take back, you know, all the pagans for Christ. And so I got kind of haughty and kind of proud and thought, that's what I'm supposed to be, you know, like this brilliant teacher or this missionary and die for Christ and... So I investigated a lot of religious orders um, towards the end of my high school years and college years, did a lot of vocations, discernment groups, uh, but nothing was jiving. Every time I'd go meet, I got kind of a dead end in the sense of just a spiritual feeling, this is not right for me, this is not what actually I thought it would be. So here I'm inspired by all these saints that started all these religious orders, and then I go to the religious orders and I'm just thinking, wow, what am I supposed to do, Lord? I know you want me to be a priest, but I have no idea what kind of priest to be. So somebody said to me at one point, they said, well, why don't you go visit with like the diocesan priesthood, you know, visit the vocations office. And I thought, the diocesan priesthood, like who wants to be a diocesan priest? Come on, they're just priests. And I can't tell you how many times, you know, we priests who are in parishes get that when they'll say, well, what kind of priest are you? I'm a parish priest. Oh, just a parish priest. Oh, just a parish priest. But I had that same, I suffer from that same pride and thinking, well, I don't want to be just like a parish priest. They're just these ordinary priests. I want to be like gung-ho. So I, I did go in and I visited, and it was very fascinating because I went in and met with Father Dave Reeson. He was the vocation director at the time. And I said to him, you know, I don't know what kind of priest I'm going to be. I'm kind of here at a lark, but I'm just interested. And, and he said, well, why do you want to be a priest? And I said, well, I, I really love the sacraments. I had really come to know, and know the Eucharist, the Lord in the Eucharist, uh, through my family's holy hours late at night. Um, I really love the idea of teaching the faith. I love the church. I just love Christ. I mean, I wanted to be with people. I love kids. I like adults. I like elderly he said, well, that's, that's what a parish priest does. And something kind of clicked for the first time. I thought, yeah, that's all the things I love about the priesthood are all the things that a parish priest does every single day. And then I went that summer and actually had a switch of vocation directors from Father Reeson to Father Mark Phillips. And I went to this first retreat in the summer and boom, you know, the Lord just hit me with grace. I can't explain it um, other than to say this overwhelming peace just flooded over me and this joy and happiness and it's never left. That was the one moment where the Lord really gave me the gift to say, you're called to be a parish priest, a diocesan priest to be among my people. And I love the parish priesthood. I, I love it completely. Um, so I'm so thankful to the Lord that he finally called me and told me what I was supposed to do um, because I wouldn't give it up for anything.